Hey foodies, it's Veronica the Foodie Food Girl and I just came back from the market and I bought two beautiful bunches of basil. And so what's happening in my kitchen today? I'm going to make raw basil pesto. So here's a raw tip for everyone. When I buy my basil from the farmers uh, at the farmer's market, I buy them with the roots and I cut it off and I put this in my garden and guess what? It starts to grow again. So it's a really great little tip and I hope you try it and I hope when you buy basil that you buy it from your local farmers and help them out and uh, or grow it yourself. I just don't have luck with basil in my garden and I don't know why so I gave up long ago. So the only time that it really grows is when I plant the roots from the farmers and then I have basil. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to have to pick all of these leaves and when I finish that, I'll be back. So now what I've done is I've taken all the leaves off of the basil stems and one of the things about basil is you have to use it pretty quickly. They wilt really fast and it doesn't matter how much water you put them in and also they start to brown really quickly. So basil is an herb that you really should use right away. When you buy it, use it. Or when you pick it, use it. Oh, everybody knows what basil smells like. It's so beautiful. And what I've done is um, some of these have like little flowers on the, on the top and that's okay, just throw that in. So I have a full bowl full of uh, basil leaves. I'm going to put all of this in the food processor. I'm not gonna use my high speed blender. I'm gonna add some olive oil, and then make it nice and creamy with hemp, hemp heart seeds. I'm going to add a little bit of nutritional yeast. I'm just showing you because I'm gonna move fast when I put it into the food processor. And um, I bought a bag full of organic pine nuts and I have the bag right here. And they cost me $12. So pine nuts are really, really expensive. If you don't have a lot of pine nuts, just use extra. Um, hemp hearts because that's what makes it nice and creamy. I will add one fresh garlic bud and half of a lemon I'm going to squeeze in there. So that's what's going into the food processor and I will put the recipe down below so just stay tuned. It's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of nutritional yeast. I'm gonna add some hemp hearts. A little bit more oil. You can't go wrong with oil in pesto. Add a few more spinach leaves. And give it another whirl. It goes pretty fast with the leaves. So let me finish this and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I just finished my batch. I used the S blade. It's a really amazing blade. <laughs> and uh, I stopped a couple of times just to sort of, you know, smooth it out and put it back down a little bit so that it gets uh, evenly chopped. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> and if you want this smoother, sometimes what I do is I put this into my high speed blender or even my uh, sort of small blender just to make it super, super creamy. Now, if it's too thick, you can add water or oil. And if it's too runny, just add a little bit more nutritional yeast or um, hemp seeds. So that works and what I do next is I put it into like little freezer bags and put it in the freezer. So I have pesto in the winter. <laughs> anyway, it is so good. I wish you could smell this. It's like basil and garlic. I don't know a better combination. So have a raw amazing day and try my raw pesto sauce.